Hey, true story about Brett Michaels. This guy, I want to kill him. He owes me money. We all got snowed in. There was a big snow over in Philadelphia. We were, uh, he missed his plane. The band's mad at him. Everybody's probably mad at him, you know what I mean? He missed the plane, missed the bus. Then I think missed the plane. Was supposed to be with the band. I think they were going to Dayton. Well, I'm in Philadelphia with my guys sleeping upstairs. So I got to wait till six o'clock in the morning till my plane leaves. So I'm having fun relaxing, drinking at the bar. I see this guy tucking his hair in, you know, he's got money. He paid his uh, bill with his credit card, you know, at the end. I'm like, what do you mean? You're closing the airport bar at 12 o'clock? This is crazy. I mean, we're stuck here for hours. There's people sleeping in a, all over the place. People sleeping. It was like the hood. So I was with a couple ladies, and they're like, will you please stay with us? Because it was a little scary there. So I'm drinking. I see him carrying on, carrying on. And he's got people talking. He's buying drinks. He's drunk over there, and I'm having fun over here. And he's waving, you know. He keeps tucking his hair under his hat. You know, I'm like, I thought he was one of the guys in Cinderella from, or whatever, at, the, at my studio. I, didn't, you know, I wasn't sure. I know I knew him. I don't know who the fuck. So he pays his bill. So I think he's got... His credit card's on, looked like he didn't have a problem. He paid and he's walking around, I don't see him for a couple hours, and it's like it's two o'clock. And he's coming by me on the escalator. And I'm with the ladies, I'm like, you know, it's dark. It's everybody's sleeping in the airport down Philly. And he's waving his credit card. He goes, I'll buy in, I'm gonna go get drinks. I'm buying, he's leaning over the escalator going by me. And I'm like, he's loaded. He's kind of leaning over, you know, with his credit card. I'm like, he's gonna get beat up. He's gonna get in a taxi and he's gonna get in trouble again. And uh, I go, ladies, I'll be I'm going to go with him. So I said, look, I fell. I caught up to him. I said, that you're going to buy, right? He goes, yeah, I'm buying. I'm buying with my platinum card. Platinum, you know, he got his card. He goes, you know who I am? I'm like, yeah, I know who you are. I don't know who he was. So we get in the soup Nazis taxi. I know where to get you beer at the 2 o'clock. It's going to cost a lot of money, though. I'm like, I don't care whatever it is. I'm going to Vegas. I got a couple hundred on me. Guys are upstairs. I get money. With a bunch of construction workers and they go away every year. So we get to the point. It's $40 a six pack we get there. The soup Nazi gets out. I want my money now. I'm like, $40? I'm like, can you pay him on a credit card? I have to put it on the taxi bill. He's swiping. He goes, matter of fact, pay me for the taxi now, too. It's $80. $80. Somehow it was close to $200 for two six packs at 2 30 in the morning and a taxi ride to get him. I can see the airport. I'm ready to jump over. And Brett, he's leaning over, swiping his card, and it, well, they shut it off. The record company shut his shit off. Somebody shut his credit card off. He ran out. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. 240s for the six pack. Somehow another 120. Somehow it was like 190, $200. So I get back. We get the six pack. I lost the girls. We go back to the room. My guys go get that piece of shit out of the room before we throw him by his fucking long hair. I'm like, relax. We just went through some shit. It took me fucking two hours to get home with two six packs. Now the plane's coming an hour. And he's not saying, I'm like, they're like, get him out of the room, Skip. I'm gonna grab him by his hair and throw him in the fucking hallway. They think it's some, you know, junkie off the fucking street with the long hair. He look all drunk. I'm like, every rose has its thorn. Every night has its dawn. And they're sitting up and they're singing. And they're singing, they're like, is that you? Like, that, that, that's him. They're like, is that you to you? And he goes, yeah, yeah. And he's, I'm like, get over there. They cut your credit off. You made me lose the girls. So I give him my room. We fly to Vegas. And I don't hear from him. I got his number and everything. I'm calling him back and forth. He never answers the phone. Then I'm calling, calling. This went on for two years. I'm calling this motherfucker. I'm like, you rotten motherfucker. I gave you my room. It cost me 200 for six packs. Saved your life before you had your hole in your heart. So we think we're screaming at him on the phone. Here, this guy answers the phone after two years. It's Brett. From up here, Brett, the goddamn concrete guy. Ah! He's going, I'm sorry, buddy. I was under a table in Vegas, and I know what you're screaming about. Uh, I'm scared to answer the phone. I'm like, Brett, you go, Skitty? He goes, I was scared to answer. I was in Vegas. What are the chances of him being in Vegas 10 years ago? The same thing that happened. I'm yelling at Brett Michaels. Here's the wrong number. But Brett, you owe me, pal. You owe me big, Brett. Mr. Uh, Bucket, I've been, but I've been, but I've been.